It's a blow to 240 athletes looking forward to competing on one of British Columbia's biggest stages. The alpine skiing and snowboarding events at the BC Winter Games have been cancelled because the snowpack just isn't there. We've had to certainly adapt sports over the years for different reasons with the weather or the community, but to actually have three withdraws is really unfortunate. Troll Mountain Resort isn't the only bare ski hill in the province. Vancouver's Mount Seymour doesn't have any runs open and Cypress Mountain is relying on snow guns to open limited terrain. BC's snowpack is about 40% below average for this time of year. Typically, we, we will have one or two regions that are below normal, but never to the point where, where every region is below normal, essentially. The lack of snow and mild temperatures are impacting much of the country. Toronto broke an 86-year-old weather record Friday, reaching 14.5 degrees. And with mild temperatures again on Saturday, the annual coldest day of the year bike ride had more bare legs than usual for mid-February. Uh, today is nowhere near the coldest day of the year. And while the weather is nice for cyclists, it's bad for drought conditions. The Alberta government is already negotiating water sharing agreements with municipalities in anticipation of an extremely dry summer. But we know we have the shared resource and it's making sure that everyone gets some and nobody gets none. Drought conditions have intensified this winter across the prairies and northern Alberta and BC into the Northwest Territories, where some wildfires continue to burn after a particularly bad 2023. We left the fall with very high to extreme fire danger and we're probably going to be seeing that again in the spring. There are still two to three months left in the snow accumulation season, but El Nino weather patterns are expected to continue, shifting the focus to what will hopefully be a wet spring. Megan Cobb, Global News, Calgary.